All right, Michael Bull here with the Commercial Real Estate Show at Recon 14 in Vegas on the floor. I'm here with Kevin Imboden with RC Analytics, and RC Analytics does a great job of looking at the numbers of investment sales on commercial real estate all over the world and, of course, right here in the good USA. And, Kevin, one of the things that people, I think, know inside their heart and their mind that cap rates are are continuing to to come down on investment sales around the country you know what's the real story what's the trend there we've seen continued compression on cap rates across all retail types actually and so we've seen the caps compressing from maybe eight percent three years ago to getting below six in some cases with urban retail now and we've seen this just gentle downward sloping curve where we're going below seven and rapidly hitting towards sixes. Yeah, that's amazing. And you know, and the other thing that has changed a lot, I guess, in commercial real estate is the lending environment, right? Where I don't know, three or four years ago, it seems like you asked for a retail loan, and maybe the lenders were like, "No, what? What are you asking me?" Uh, so, what do you see for for lender composition around the U.S. today? Well, the lender composition is interesting because in 09, like you mentioned, the CMBS market and the lending market in general it crashed. But immediately thereafter, in 2010 till now, we've seen this rebound in CMBS for retail lending to around 45% of the market. It seems to have stayed right there. On top of that, that CMBS is underpinning a lot of the secondary tertiary markets, specifically in the southeast, southwest regions of the country that were usually underserved by the standard lenders. Yeah, that's good. And, and then you guys track the sales really well and you track all the buyers. Who are the active buyers in uh, retail real estate these days? So there were a couple transactions in the past month that were of interest. Uh, Tia Kreft, Lars Pension Fund, they bought a half interest in a large mall in Tampa. And Heinz purchased a very large power center in San Antonio. Those were a couple of interesting deals that I thought. And as far as uh, maybe on the seller side too, Simon I noticed had sold out of a couple of their funds. So it's just some internal restructuring I guess of some of those funds. Okay. And you guys have been around for a while. You've been at these uh, shows, uh, recon shows. Mm -hmm. What's the feel uh, so far? What's the traffic like here? It is busy. I am yeah. much busier, especially on a Sunday yesterday, than I've been in the past couple of years. So foot yeah. traffic is nuts, and we have a ton of appointments, so it's great. Well, that's great. Well, if you're at recon, come see them. If you're not, look up RC Analytics online. Kevin, thanks for joining us today. Thanks a lot, Michael. Thanks for coming by. Michael Bull, Recon 14. The Commercial Real Estate Show is brought to you by Atlanta Office Liquidators, new and used furniture liquidators, France Media, publications and conferences, Florida International University, Real Crowd, and Bull Realty Commercial Brokerage, a great place to do business. For more information on these companies or to access additional podcasts, videos, or blogs, visit commercialrealestateshow.com.